Hello my friends of Hattery Labs, my name is Saul Matoya. Welcome to another tutorial where we are going to do some contours of a raster file. In this case we are going to do some contours of an NDBA file and be aware that in order if you want to do contours uh, you have to you have to understand how is the, the extension of your raster. Here our raster only is is small so it's measure line it's only 8, eight kilometers wide okay and and from the on the properties on the metadata we are going to use the uh, it's only 800 columns and 700 rows so and this is very important otherwise i mean if the this process of contour from a raster file is very time processing and very computer processing as well so if you send a, like the whole extension of a Im of a landsat image you will you will end up with a lot of uh, you will end up with uh, with a huge process that you uh, with an, that a normal computer and mostly on Windows will will crash. So I, I really strongly recommend you that you do this process just on the just on the on the areas that where you want where you need to have the contours. Okay. So here I have the NDVA file. On the description of this video, you will you will find this NDVA file as well. And here maybe I'm going to raster and then here i'm going to make some and as well i'm going to rip properties and then i'm going to on style i'm going to do another uh, let's see i'm going to put another like this one yep apply ready and this is you will find this as this single band gray Okay. And then, or let me let me open this again. Remove. Yes, because I actually want to that you get the whole process. I mean, you will receive an NDVI file like this. Then I'm going to that goes from 0 0.1 to 0 0.7, and then I'm going to properties, and then going to apply a pseudo band pseudo color. Let's say this one. Yep. Let's say this one. Uh, let's say, like, or let's say, yeah, this one. Okay, apply. Cool. Yeah, and the vegetated parts that we are interested in are these parts, that w the ones that are above 0 .0, 0, 0 0.5. So, and what do we do? So we do we go to raster and then we go to extraction and then we go to counter. So this is the the same one. When you are doing this, I strongly recommend you that you only have one raster layer. Yep. Otherwise, it will create confusion, and then your process you will make error on the process. Okay, which are the output file for this counter? It will be NDVI contours okay cool and then you have to put an, an attribute why if you don't put it actually say this it won't attach any attribute yeah so you you want to you have to put it okay so it has to be ndvi and this is the default contour but however if you remember that your values various in between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 a contour of 10 of 10 won't represent nothing on your on your raster file so it has to be a pointer of 0 0.1 yep this this contour in between lines is uh, it really depends on how accurate you want to do your contours and as well as relate is related as well to the computer processing yep so here we have the contours in between lines so we say okay and it will create the contours okay cool so you have many contours here but 
as I say I want the contours that are only above 0 0.5 so I'm going to do a filter where I say that I want the NDVI greater or equal to 0 0.5 okay I test and then I have oh I have a lot of contours that fits this and then if you see these are all the contours that are that represent the areas with high with higher vegetation okay cool so this is was a nice tutorial and for this tutorial you will have the NDV file to, to do that uh, my name is Saul Montoya I come from Qatari Labs Qatari Labs is a blog dedicated to knowledge sharing on open source software in water resources so our blogs is mostly on tutorials and we will bring a lot of tutorials on QAS, Modflow, uh, Python and Hydrology and so open form and so on please um, follow us by our newsletter or by our social account our Facebook account and our Twitter account and if you like this tutorial and then you keep you want to keep in touch with our latest tutorials and as well you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. My name is Saul Montoya and if you want to contact us and make us some questions, please sign on this contact form that we we answer uh, we answer all the con all the all the emails that we, we all the contacts that we that we receive from this form. Okay, and I hope to see you uh, we are we have some webinars program and as we, in the future we will have some courses so and I hope to see you in another tutorials and please have a great day bye bye